Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to deploy N10, the popular workflow automation tool you're locally using Docker, and then expose it securely to the internet using Cloudflare Tunnel, all for free and forever. So before we begin, make sure you have these three things ready, like uh, firstly, Docker installed on your local machine, a registered public domain and a Cloudflare account with your domain added. To deploy, let's start with deploying the Anitin locally using Docker. Open your terminal and run the following command. Docker run hyphen it and hit enter. This command maps port 5678 and saves your workflow file dot in in directory. As I have already set up my init in and it's running locally, you can see here. I have also written a blog on it, which is on Medium, which I will share the link in the below. You can work, read on this and uh, follow the steps to locally install and work on init in. After deploying it locally, you can start with the Cloudflare tunnel setup. Just log into your account, Cloudflare account. Then go to Zero Trust in the left sidebar. Click on Networks, click on Tunnel. And as you can see, I have already created a tunnel. But let me just walk you through the steps. You can hit Create a Tunnel choose cloud flared give a name like then let's go test or something then save it and as per your environment you can choose to install the connector like windows mac debian or red hat i have mac so i have already pre-installed it you have to just run this command in the terminal I've already installed it, so no need. After installing it, you can just hit next. You can add a subdomain, then hit the domain name which you have registered. Select the service as HTTP and localhost 5678 where your NA10s run. And then complete the setup. As I've already set up, uh, I don't need to set up this one. So let's go back to the tunnel. And as you can see, this one is healthy and running for four hours, which I have already set up and is working. And my workflow is currently working on this one. And it ends dot So now we have configured all and attend with the public domain and if this video helped you give us a thumbs up subscribe it for more automation tutorials and drop a comment if you get stuck anywhere thanks for watching